How can I possibly rescue our failing business? Our competitors keep seeming to win our clients. All our changes and improvements have such little impact. Treasure chest. Who, who, who are you? Ah, I'm a TQM expert. My name is Heiler Goldenheimer. I, I take you total quality manager, just like you said in the scroll, yeah? Yeah, you'll learn quickly, my son. This will be useful for our journey. Uh, uh, our journey? Our... We are now on a journey to help your business. Our business? Who told you about our business? Who tipped you off? I just know! It's to do with the Wolfsburg Deutsch technique! Anyway, I am asking the questions! What seems to be the problem? The problem is we, despite making quality products, all our business keeps getting stolen by our clients. We can't seem to make any ends meet. We keep having special offers, new designs and nothing. Nothing works. You say quality? What do you mean by quality? What is the problem? Quality. In our business, every single box we make is quality. We pass on no defects to our customers. We screen out every single box. Not one box gets passed our quality control team. We've got a special group in there. They check boxes, they inspect them, and we have quality products. It's just as I expected. You're not making quality products at all. Far from it. Let me a little secret called Total Quality Management. Total Quality? Tell me, what is it? This is what you'll find out. For now, we can say this is our radical management philosophy and methodology based on the continual incremental improvement of the entire processes and products. It also involves the entire team. Let me show you something. What you must do is design for quality. You must focus on defect prevention, not defect detection. As my old grandma Helga used to say, prevention is better than cure. You don't focus on inspecting products at the end of the line. You control the process in every function of the manufacture of your box. What you want is a product distribution like this. These products are designed for quality, and this drives your costs down. But look, there's defects there! Ah, but if you design and control your process correctly, these can be made sufficiently minute. But wait, this is a totally different way of thinking! Yes, indeed! And what's more, it must be led by yourself and everyone in your business must be fully involved in this quality design. They each have a specific role to play. It will require leadership, creativity and collective responsibility. But you say this will help. Yeah, you are going to discover this. But come, let's first look at your current process. As you can see, this is our quality control department. All boxes inspected to the highest standard and dealt with just like this. I will explain. You cannot just inspect the boxes at the end of the line like this. Throwing away the boxes outside the specification limits and keeping the ones inside. You must remember, as I said on the beach, all processes vary and we are designed for quality. Do you understand? 
Yeah, but I'm not so sure we are going to be Shh. In the C-Sigma process, we are trying to reduce the number of overall errors. However, there will still be errors. But we are trying to ensure that a process is capable of reducing the number of escaping defects. Okay. We have two indices. CP and CPK. CP is a measure of how capable a process is of producing the required process characteristics. CPK is a measure of how the process is actually performing and takes into account the process not hitting the target value. A high CP shows that the process is capable of reproducing the characteristics. A high CPK shows that the process is within the desired limit. One more thing. The yield can mean many things. The Poisson distribution is used to define the yield. It can be used to calculate the number of units with defects and the number of defects in a unit. Okay guys, I've got it. We're going to use this thing called Six Sigma Process Design. And what we're going to have to do is design all our products for quality. And this is completely different from what we've ever done before. Completely different. We're going to have to change the entire process line. We're going to have to really work as a team. And every single one of us need to be on the ball for quality. I don't see this going to make any difference. Your production line is going to get confused. You're just adding an extra hassle. You really think this is going to change anything? Our production method is there for 30 years over. Yeah. We can't change overnight. People get stuck with the, all this new kind of fast six sigma what size stuff. And this is going to get quality goods. Quality. The companies who have implemented this, they've saved an awful lot of money. In fact, Motorola actually saved up to 17 billion dollars by implementing this. Guys, we have got to get a booster jab in teamwork. I have I got something exciting to share with all of you. I have got a trip, a management and workers DM trip to where it's warm, sunny and there's a beach.